What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we're going to be continuing with our money printer and we're going to be displaying some fancy UI above our model. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We are only going to be working in our cl underscore init dot luic file today. So go ahead get that open and let's begin. So let's go ahead and locate our end dot or end colon draw function. It should be the only function in there. And let's enter down a little bit here, right below this draw model. And let's go ahead, create ourselves two variables here. The first one will be a position variable. And we're just going to set this equal to self colon get pause. And that's just going to get, get the position of the entity. And then another variable, local ang equals self colon get angles. You can go ahead and name these whatever you want. But after this, we want to use our newly created angle variable. So ang colon rotate around axis. This is just going to rotate our entity for us. And we're going to rotate it on the up axis 90 degrees. Next, we want to create a couple more variables. It's just going to be the variables that will contain some information for us. So the entity name, the owner of the printer, and the money amount. And we're not going to be putting anything in the printer's or the owner variable or the money amount variable right now. We're just going to be putting some placeholder stuff in there just to kind of give you the idea of what we're going to be putting in there next time. But let's go ahead and create those variables now. Local entity name equals whatever the name of the printer is, in my case, basic printer. Then local printer owner equals, we're just going to put that placeholder in here like I said. We're going to be changing that for next time. Then lastly, local money amount equals money amount. And this variable is just going to end up containing however, mu however much money is stored within the printer. Then after that, let's go ahead and create ourselves some text to display this. And for our first font here, I'm not going to go about creating any fonts. I'm just going to use the default ones built in just because it's easier. But for this, going to make it nice and simple. We're just going to use the HUD hint text large. And we're going to create ourselves a variable here. Local entity name with is equal to surface dot get text size. And we want to get the size of the entity name variable. And all this is going to do for us is going to allow us to properly position the entity name on our printer. Because we want it to be right in the middle. And by doing this get text size part, it's going to allow us to do, like I said before, to position that properly. Then we want to go ahead and do it one more time with surface.set font here. And I'm going to do HUD hint text small. And we're going to create two more variables for the width of the printer owner string. Surface.get text size printer owner. And again with the money amount, so local money amount width equals surface.get text size money amount. So now that we have all of those variables created, let's go ahead and actually get this displayed onto our screen above our printer entities. We're going to be using something called start 3D2D in order to in order to display this text above our entity. So cam dot start 3D2D and the first thing we want here is the position of it and this will be the pause plus ang or this angle variable we created up here colon up we want to get that up axis. And we just want to multiply that by 5 in order to properly position it where we want it. And then next up we want the angle that this text will be displayed at. And since we already have that variable made, let's go ahead and just use it using this ang variable here. And this right here, this will angle it so it's facing upwards. And lastly, we want the scale of the text that's going to be displayed here. So we're just going to do 0 0.2 because that will, that's a good, good place to have it, I think. I think it looks better that way. Again, if you want it to look a little bit different, go ahead, mess with that variable or that value all you want until you get exactly what you like. And let's end that off there just like that. Now in here, we want to use our draw.wordbox function. So draw.wordbox. 
And this takes in quite a few arguments here. The first argument is the size of the border. I'm just going to set this to zero because I don't want a border. Then after that, we have the x coordinate of it. And for this, we just do the negative of the entity name width times 0.5. And this will go ahead and center it for us. After this, we want the y coordinate. And this will be negative 30. And then we want the text that's going to be displayed, which will be entity name in this case. Then the font type, I'm going to do HUD hint text large, just like we did above right up here. And we want the color of the box that's going to be in the background of it. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a little bit here. I'm just going to do black here, 00, zero with an opacity of 100. And then the font color will be a full on white. Now with this, we can just go ahead and copy this two more times just to make it a little bit easier on us. And we just want to change these variables here with these and this. As well as that, we want to change the y value because if we leave them all at negative 30, they're all going to be stacked on top of each other. And that's obviously not what we want because we want to be able to read that. So let's go ahead and change this one to negative 10 and then change this one to... Uh, what do we got here? One. And then as well as that, we want to go and change the text that's going to be displayed. So we don't want entity name for all of them. We want this one to be printer owner and this one to be money amount. And lastly, we want the font type. Just like that. So with that, we can go ahead, save it. And let's go and head into game here and check out what we just did. So once we're in game here... If we get no errors and we're good to go, let's go ahead and spawn ourselves in the printer. So let's go to the Q menu here, Entities, and I believe it's under Other. Yep, spawn it. And as you can see, we have the text that we wanted to be drawn centered on or above our printer here. And we have it all positioned properly. We have the strings properly set up with the, what we want to have in them. And... Next time we'll actually be filling out the printer owner and money amount with actual variables or actual values that are not just placeholder as they are now. So that right there will conclude this part of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.